Jim and Oliver were close friends. One day, Oliver challenged the king for his wicked deeds. And so, Oliver was arrested and threatened with death if he refused to take back his words. Upon reaching the prison, Jim asked Oliver if he needed any help. Oliver said, I am prepared to die, but before that, I would like to see my mother and sister. Jim met the king and pleaded with him to let Oliver meet his mother and sister while he took Oliver's place in the prison. When Oliver delayed his return, the king said to Jim, Where is your friend now? You should learn not to trust anyone. Now you will die for your foolishness. Jim replied, My lord, if my friend does not come on time, I shall be happy to die in his place. It was just then that his friend came running to the prison, saying, Thank God, I am not too late. Thanks, Jim, for letting me see my home and people again. The king who was watching this was moved and said, If I had more people like you in my kingdom, I would not have to be so strict. You are free to go. I have a lot of power and great riches, but I would gladly give my crown and my wealth for one true friend. Prosperity brings friends. Adversity reveals them. A good friend is someone who loves you as you are, someone who believes the best about you when he may have reason not to, somebody who applauds you when no one else bothers, and somebody who is quick to forgive you and support you after you have stumbled, erred, missed the mark or sinned. There is no possession more valuable than a good and faithful friend.